Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Moses said, Pharaoh will not believe me. Ramesses was my half-brother. I know the stubbornness of his heart. I need an evidence. There is no witness without an evidence. Please, let's trust God for grace for real results. Genuine results. Genuine results. Genuine results. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, say, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Please listen to me we're about to pray every assignment God gave you there is an oil for it have you found it this is why we're here tonight there is some prayer we are going to pray tonight and someone will have to take something this night and leave this place with it knowing I came I was glad when they said to me let us go to house on the rock I came there and found the oil of my destiny I've been a prophet for years but tonight I found it the ordination in the next five minutes I don't know how you are going to pray but cry Lord, the grace for the secret place. Number two, the anointing, the mantle and the ordination. Tired of looking like others. Tired of fighting others. Brand my impact by your grace. Place something upon my life. You are in ministry. Cry to the God of heaven. You are a worshiper. Called into the worship ministry. Where is the spirit of David that should be upon you? Oh thou prophet, where is the spirit of Elijah? We see not the signs. Those outside, please pray. Those online, pray. 
here at House on the Rock Joss, the Lord himself opening men to portals, doorways and dimensions in the spirit. There has to be a way out, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, tonight I surrender everything. Lift your voice and pray. Everything. 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 Is someone praying? Everything, oh God, let it be yours. says nevertheless the foundation of the Lord standeth sure having this seal the Lord knoweth them that are his and he says let every man that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity then he says but in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver of wood and clay he says that some vessels are unto honor and others unto dishonor then he says if a man will purge himself that man will be a vessel unto honor meet for the master's use you're going to lift up a prayer lord what in my life must die for me to rise it was in the year king uzziah died that i saw the lord what must die for me to see a higher dimension take it oh god take it oh god lift your voice and pray every flesh every lust every pride that must die tonight Every vain glory. Pray. Let that circumcision happen tonight. That's oh God. Let there be a sign. Let there be a token upon my life. Let something from heaven come upon my life that a generation will acknowledge that the hand of Jehovah is upon me. Amen. 
Lord, you have called me to be an intercessor. Where is the spirit of grace and supplication? Will it not come upon my life? You called me to be a leader. Where is the grace that was on Joseph? The spirit that provides influence. may be weak but the spirit is winning across this congregation 
and I'm hearing in my spirit separation 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 there is a grace that is separating people right now separation men and women an ordination is happening in this place an ordination an initiation into a dimension of glory a dimension of grace a dimension of power that prophetic dimension is coming upon you I'm seeing a quickening that prophetic dimension real power not just to talk but to speak the grace the unction from heaven drink of that wine the grace to stand in the office of the Christ and to minister power and life that when men see you they rejoice because they know their captivity has come to an end to appoint unto them that morn I decree and declare oh God like the dew of Hammon someone must catch this grace it may not be everybody but what where is that one who has been fasting where is that one whose heart has touched your mercy that must carry a grace tonight for genuine signs and wonders i pray by the spirit of grace may that mantle find someone right now may that grace find someone right now in the name of jesus christ Help that woman, please. 
so she doesn't enjoy herself. Hallelujah. Who is Amos? Amos. I hear a name Amos. Amos. Who is Godia? Godia. I'm hearing a name Godia. Who is that, please? What's your name, my friend? Amos. What's your name, sir? Amos. Pastor, can you spare me five minutes? This is called the house on the rock. Thank you. My friend, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus? I'll pray for you. What do you do? I play football. I want to pray for you. This is more than football. There is a prophetic grace on your life. It's more than football. The angel of the Lord is asking me to stand here. Bring the person here that shouts under the anointing. I want to speak to the person. The power of God is coming on that person now. It's a loud shout. A loud shout to the hearing of everybody. Please pick the person and bring. There is a woman here. You came here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Please, where are you? A woman I'm not I don't know if she's outside I command that spirit now let her go now did the Bible not say now the Lord is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty liberty let me tell you except God is not God what followed you this night must let you go now Madam, please stand up. Don't cry. House on the rock. Pastor, God bless you for putting this meeting. God bless you. God bless you. Every time people are touched, it's amazing how little opportunities like this just take away. Madam, I don't know you, but the Lord, I'm seeing like a towel wiping your tears. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, in the month of August, I'm stretching my hands towards you because I'm seen like oil. Hold her please and just keep her down. The favor of God is coming upon your life. The month of August is a strange month of lifting for you. This is what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Captivity comes to an end now by the power of the Holy Spirit. If he is here, and if he came, we should know, and they should know. I release you. This guy, I'm seeing this guy tied from head to toe. Right now, I declare in the name of Jesus, be released from everything that is not the Christ. I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone will start running under the anointing. Please hold that person and bring that person out for me now. This role, right now this robe like run literally physical run I told you hold the person holy fire burn upon my The name of Jesus I stretch my hands over this gentleman and I declare I'm seeing upon this man the spirit of a wanderer moving around and not doing anything I declare right now by the spirit of grace be free now and forever in the name of Jesus my sister on the ground I take away what is on your stomach that that the devil has put in your stomach to be said in three years that it was fibroid I take it out now by the Spirit of God. See, let me teach you something. You see, every time God puts meetings like this, be discerning to register your presence. It, 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 
even if it's a marriage seminar if you hear God is coming come to is this man a man of God are you, this man seated are you a pastor sir please come your life is about to change I don't know you from anywhere you're a pastor where sir in here, house on the rock? No. Where? A pastor church. Tell your your own church? Yes. Sir. What's the name? Fountain of Life Ministry. Fountain of Life. You are a great teacher of the word. But in addition to the teaching ministry, you are entering a strange dimension of the healing ministry. <laughs> Truly, you love the Lord, but I pray for you. Capacity in the spirit. I stretch my hands by the grace of God and the office that anoints and imparts. I release you into this dimension from today. Turn into another man. I set you on fire and I define, I measure a thousand cubits of this ministry and I speak by the spirit of grace. Enter a new season and a new dimension of power in addition to the grace that will teach. You carry the grace that will heal. In the name of Jesus. Madam, excuse me. What's your name? Hold on. What are you? What tribe are you? Igbo. You are Igbo. Yes, sir. Ah, I'm seeing an angel giving me a gift. What's your name? Gift Chinere. Your name is Gift. Chinere. That is the gift. That God is about to give you. How long have you been married? A year, six months now. And nothing is happening. I lost two, sir. You lost two. Yes, sir. Miscarriages. Madam, it's not miscarriages. They happen after the dreams you had. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Let's not go into it. But there is a God in heaven. Amen. Just hear me. God is still alive, oh. And is alive tonight here at House on the Rock. There is a God in heaven. My brothers and my sisters, don't get used to your pain. There is a God in heaven. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. Madam, you believe in Jesus? I want you to shout Jesus as loud as you can. Look at me. Go and prepare. I'm seeing a baby girl. The Lord is bringing it. I declare that the power and the yoke behind this make sure you return to testify oh, in the name of Jesus Christ let it be over tell your husband look at me tell your husband that a man of God at house on the rock said to tell him he is healed amen does this make sense to you go and tell him yes, sir. there is a condition he has that he's not even aware of I must pray for you because it can affect your birth tell him that he's healed. Let's just leave it there. Amen. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ. You too, my dear. You're married. How long? Six months. Six months. Someone's sister is married seven years. No child. Seven years. No child. We're in the congregation here. Seven years. We're rounding up. Seven years. I, I just felt in my heart to just let God change people's lives this night seven years no child please do, make sure you don't come out randomly let's have someone just vet them here so they don't you are you married no, sir, my sister. if you come out for foot of the womb please make sure you're married your sister where is she she's a, she's a hyper. <laughs> ah, ah. she has things after. hold on they did your introduction and the guy left <laughs> who is that who is the person they did your introduction oh people were happy and everything tore apart again. You have now reduced to nothing. Who is that? I need to pray for you now. You are a lady. You are wearing white. Where are you? This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Who is that? Don't cry, my dear. Please don't cry. Jesus is Lord. You see, let me tell you the truth. People are going through real problems. Real problems. And just because people fake prophecy here and there and manipulate things, does not mean God does not reach people. This is, this is one thing that God is raising people to correct. Just because here and there, there are all kinds of things, and then 
there, there's no soundness of the word and here and there people take advantage of people and manipulate people it should not make you scared of the investments of the spirit it's for the advantage of the saints my dear look at me you're a copper here you came from Bauchi State. Yes. My God. Why are they here? Mama? Please, why is she here? Your sister? No child? Seven years married. No child. Mama, where are you from, please? You are from Imo State. Can we pray for your sister? What's her name, ma? Emilia. Emilia. In the name of Jesus here at House on the Rock, we agree as the church of the Lord that after these seven years, she must have a child and give birth like the Hebrew women. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My dear, where is your sister? What's her name? Hefziba. She doesn't have a child? How long? Getting to eight years, three years, she's not been pregnant. Yes, she has dreams after dreams. Don't worry, let me talk to you. By the end of this month, she should go to the hospital for a test. In the name of Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of the Living God. And the dream that she has of a man coming to sleep with her. And then everything happens. We declare in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. The Bible says he nailed it to the cross. We enforce that reality now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, why are these people here? Marriages. Fruit of the womb. How many of you? I just want to pray for you. You believe God will give it to you? Please don't try. Don't come hoping it will happen or not. No. I know you've been prayed for. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. Before you believe a man, find out about him. Jesus Christ put his manifesto in scripture so that we'll look at. The Bible says to minister according to the measure of grace. I pray for you. In the name that is above all names. By the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. My sister, look at me. Shout Jesus. That's not Jesus. You are shout Jesus. She's shy. Don't be... Place your hand on your stomach. I'm seeing something tied around your stomach. I lose it now. 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 By the spirit of grace. Look what is happening to her. She was just shouting, Jesus. She's not even aware. Ah, the spirit of God. A time will come. Church will become like a viewing center. Whether there's service or not, people will come and sit there. Because they would have learned that there is a residue of the presence of God. Church is not a nuisance to civilization. No. No. In the name of Jesus, I declare to you, regardless of what the medical condition is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, return with your child. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's one of you here, your sister will have twins. The power of God will come on that person now. No, no, listen, I'm not, this is an exact prophecy. That's the lady. Go and tell your sister that God visited her here at House on the Rock. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, for all of you trusting God for fruit of the womb, in Jesus' name, return with it. Return with it. Amen. There is a banker here, there is trouble in your bank right now as I'm speaking. I'm seeing someone, we don't have this, I'm seeing an issue that has to do with your bank where you walk and I must pray for you please when I pray for you you can return back to your seat we're rounding up we're rounding up this is the lady that came out my dear look at me where are you from what do you have to do with um, Makodi I'm from Benway State you're from Benway State yes, Jesus be praised Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. That he has been 
exalted above every name thrones dominions and every name that is named of things in the earth of things under the earth there is a name there are names but there is a name the name of Jesus is not a chant it's not a charm it's not a genie it is the name with an office that backs it I declare oppression not just over your life but over your family let it be gone like smoke before the wind in the name of Jesus Christ and may the Lord restore you and for all of you here gentlemen um, football is what you do that's all you do Where is the pain around your leg? Which one? Lift it up. How would I know someone put a bandage on his leg? Look at that. Because I looked at that and I saw a bandage and I saw a pain. This came from football. But there is a God in heaven. Listen to me. We'll round up this prayer by praying. If this thing is not on you, don't act like it is there. Pray it to come genuinely. Believe God for it. Our generation has too much results to work with shadows. We need to bring the substance of spiritual reality. We need to defend the things that we propose. My brother, you believe in miracles? You believe in miracles? How long has this been? It's been close to two weeks. Two weeks? Yes, sir. Touch it. I bring you the life and the power of this kingdom that we so talk about. In the name of Jesus. Look at me. Run. Go. Jump up and down. Any pain. Look at this. Completely. In the name of Jesus. Any pain. What happened to you now? I'm healed. Completely. Check it. Check it. Make sure you are not faking it. Look at this. Look at this. Lose the bandage. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, thank you. Your Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other days fade away. Let all the other names fade away. And the gentleman is even surprised. Stand up, sir. You see. I know that you play football but there is a real prophetic grace upon your life you understand this is how to tell people you came to church you go back and say I went to church I went to church this is proof that he is alive there is a God that sits in heaven my brother look at me the Lord will take you to a dimension that this that was once a band a bandage may it become something that will empower you Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ what's your name sir I'm Amos my name sir. you are Amos what do you do sir commercial driver for now. we're a commercial driver yes sir where here in Jos. I want to pray with you Who is building? Who is building a house? I hope you will not be embarrassed. Can I talk to you, sir? Because I need to pray for you, sir. Um, I, you may not need to come out. Let me just honor you where you are. But I want to pray for you. You see, Ba, wickedness is real. I don't know this man, but the power of God is coming on you now. This, this our father lifting his hands. An anointing is coming on you. He 
It's called the finisher's anointing. The Bible says, please help him. The hand of Zerubbabel. Why will you start a project and resources vanish just like that? Help the man, please. Because this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. This man starts a project and what the, the problem with him is what is on you. This one raising your hand, come. Are you building? You. Hold on, please. Let me talk to you. There is stand up. The trouble, this guy, you are from Edo State. Where are you from? Edo State. Yes, sir. Benin. Yes, sir. That's where the house is. Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Look at me, my friend. You need to amend your way. Stand up. God is not a herbalist. Huh? Your relationship with God is very... Look at me. Don't feel embarrassed. I'm not here to embarrass you. This is church. Huh? You know what the Bible calls cares. You have to. You see, let me tell you. You are not truly born again till your association changes. There's no such thing as it does not matter. You are either there or you are not there. Period. So you, you must summon the courage to edit your relationships by the Spirit of God. But I must pray for you. The kind of speed that will come and look at me. Receive grace to not be arrogant. You hear what I'm telling you? I will stop there. You see, when you say my power and the might of my hands. Yesterday I taught at our Kingdom Well Summit. In this kingdom we don't own things. Owners are rebels. We are only stewards. Whatever you own, you maintain by yourself. This is the cause of high blood pressure. The Bible says, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. I pray for you. There is a grace. Let me talk to him. Give him the mic. Tell me what happened in your dream last night when you slept. I saw you. I, I saw myself in a meeting like this because I'm a copper here in Joseph. I don't even know. That's what. Just talk to I, me. I, you, I, you saw me in your dream. Yes, I what was I in doing? A like this, we ministry, because I normally play your messages while but I'm that's playing. not the first time. The last time before this dream, what did you see? Can you remember? You had a dream, and hands were laid on you. You need to be serious with God, my friend. The Lord loves you. Well, I know you are listening to these messages but you see when you are still rooted in certain aspects of culture they will interrupt your growth process doesn't matter what you are listening to the kingdom itself is a culture and there are certain habits that may be subliminal we may not know we've been environmentally conditioned to reject certain dimensions of God we must embrace God right there are cultures where if you have it you must show it that's how you get respect in the kingdom we are cultured into another kind of lifestyle. May the God of all grace help you. Hold my hands. You drink of this grace. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fire is coming on your hands, my sister, the one standing. You don't have to come here. Right there. It's over. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have to round up. One day I'm sure that God will create a greater platform to really be able to minister to his people. Hallelujah. Where is the overflow? Outside. Okay, here. One here. Both overflows. The power of God will come on someone here and someone here. We're rounding up. But bring the person here, please. One here and one here wherever doesn't matter where the overflow is it's a sign please pick, pick the person the angel of the Lord bring in please don't rough handle them just hold them with honor and then we are going to pray am I wasting your time tonight just praise the Lord just a few minutes they've not paid your father there is some money that is supposed to have come to your father this thing is close to is at least five years this is I don't know whether this is some money that you have prayed you have gotten lawyers the family has where is that person help them my friend 
that gentleman raising your hand is that the situation just lift your hand right where you are the power of god is coming on you now and the the money for your parents i don't know what is it that has been tied but in the name of jesus christ we command a release by the spirit of god right now in the name of jesus this is the, the person from the overflow my friend that spirit out of him now by the power that raised christ from the dead let his destiny go i release you now my god oppression is real oh. but again there is a name that is above every other name it's not just a scripture to recite it's a reality to experience not just you my dear but your entire family be free now by the God of heaven I decree and declare in the name of Jesus let me tell you this if there is any family here under the sound of my voice that things are not working for regardless what you do you know what I mean that all doors close I stand right now by the power of the Holy Ghost if you belong to that category at the count of three as I pray the power of God comes on you and opens that door one two three that door be open now be open now every closed door over any family just I speak to you by the rod of a higher priesthood doors be open now be open now be open now a church like this for a meeting like this the lifetime of your impact should should should, should last one service is enough for your life to change why should you come with doors closed and go back with doors closed i say it again i don't know what has refused to open but i join my faith with the faith of the servants of god here i shout it by the spirit of god at the count of three I don't care for how long be open now be open now be open now hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.